Hello and welcome back everyone to another Clash Royale episode. Um today we are finishing the Mirror Mini challenge. Actually I finished it. I'm just showing you the replays. So this is it. I'm going to show you the last 3. I'm still using this um the lava on deck. It's performing very well for me and hopefully we'll reach master 1 master 3 with this deck okay so we are going to start with this all the way up to here sorry okay so pretty simple stuff there's not much strategy to this i mean of course it's strategic but it's basically on how you play the deck right i mean you cannot explain it so i'll just go over the basics like basic placements which were key to win so obviously i didn't want the inferno dragons to lock on but i let one of them to lock on simply because i feel that i can take it down and it won't absolutely decimate the tower then i go with the ram rider cause well good offense let's just say that and thankfully this guy dies the goblin brawler i think i don't know what his name is goblin cage i think we'll call him goblin brawler only so anyways the fatal mistake on his part was he wasn't paying attention to my princess So at this point I know that I have to stop the ram rider and that barbarian so I try my best not good enough but stops it nonetheless now because I'm applying so much pressure on the left hand side he has to ignore the princess on the right and not only that he was low on elixir as well so nothing much you can do i mean both the tars are weak at this point i don't remember which tar i end up taking down i think i take out the right one before he takes out my left one okay so this time i'm going to switch things up again he ign- okay he doesn't ignore my princess so basically yeah um when you're playing this deck try to waste as much elixir as you can your opponent's elixir not your own lock the princess away i guess and always use your princess to chip down the tower when he doesn't have lock and that's the only advice i can give for this particular deck and also you can just you know place stuff on the bridge the princess that is that ram rider just does not die pretty annoying but yeah we deal with it so at this point he would have taken down my left tar but i just end up taking down the right hand side with the princess on the bridge Now moving on to the second replay if my internet works. If it doesn't I think I'll just end it here or something. Okay, so this one I'm just fast forwarding uh, forwarding to the part where we make some plays. Okay, so it's proper mirror match up as of now. so where do i end up like where do i mess it up right the royal giant i do not count to the royal giant properly so do not do that that's all i can say always have something for the royal giant um and he used his witch very well i would say use mir- a mirror witch so basically place down one witch then use a mirror um because he does end up doing it and it's 
a very strong combination in this particular matchup because there's no fireball lightning or a big spell i barely managed to save it i didn't use my cards properly i know so he basically just sweeps me so his barbarians melt everything i try and use okay wait i just go with barbarians to defend obviously it's not good enough to defend <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's gonna go with arrows, I think, and then a witch. Hopefully, okay now. So he absolutely tries to stop all the damage. Thankfully, my heal spirit heals up my barbarians, and we managed to like come back into the game. But obviously, it isn't good enough. I think now he goes with the double witch. Yep, I think yeah. So I had no idea how to counter the double witch. I try my best, but there's nothing much I could have done. And his lumberjack locks onto mine. Basically, it was pretty chaotic. And with the royal giant in front, it was pretty much game over. <laughs> and I'm surprised how much damage the witches do to barbarians. They took out everything. I, I think it's now in arrows range or something. Cause either way, it doesn't matter. I cannot stop it. That was my last attempt to like stop him, but obviously, I think I still managed to force him to play royal giant, and that's GG. So this was the second match town, very well played on his part. And now the final match. Okay, so this is the final match for today. I'm just gonna again fast forward to the point where we play cards. Okay, so I go with the princess on the right and he or she goes on the left. Okay, so my princess finally manages to reach the tower. The lock should be able to kill the firecracker. I think they should do that. Okay, so now I use the giant. If you use the giant or anything in that position when the firecracker is coming down, you can basically kill it or activate the king tower basically. That solves majority of your problems. It's because if the king, you manage to like activate the king tower early on, you have such a huge advantage. Uh, you can ignore so many things on the tower. I do so in this match, I think. I ignore something on the left hand side, I guess a hog rider or something. So keep that in mind, that's a very important placement or key placement you'd call it. He does not stop my Dark Prince. I'll go with uh, Skami, I think. Because, again, there are no arrows. And I knew that Log was out of rotation. So, simple stuff. I'm going to ignore it, I guess. Yep. So not the Hog Rider, I ignore the Dark Prince and King Tar takes it down. If I didn't have my King Tar activated, my left Tar uh, probably would have died right there. And I don't want him to take my Tar, I want him to still keep placing down stuff. So as to wa uh, waste Elixir um, defending the left side. And I'll also keep pressuring the right hand side making things harder for him. Right now, I'm not sure whether this was a good play on his part or not, simply because I managed to place a lot of things on the right hand side, or basically swarm it. This was another key placement I'd say, uh, 
this was a very important placement in the game it managed to take down your firecracker the princess as well as the dark prince now i'll just keep pressurizing him as so as to he cannot play anything on the left hand side i think he goes with the princess but the princess locks on to the giant and then the firecracker takes down the princess and that's good game i think we could have pushed for two crown but i don't want to take any risks as it was my last attempt to win and i'd suggest you use your 10 gems if you're close to winning cause i think it's worth it anyways that's it if you did enjoy please do leave a like and subscribe and as always thank you guys for watching peace out